Rise and Shine East Texas. You're watching KETK Today. Hey, welcome back in everyone. We are seeing some patchy, dense fog now moving through the area. You can see that with our Skyview camera in Longview, brought to you by the Montour Law Firm. So you want to use some extra caution as you head out on the roads this morning. Leave some extra time to get to your destination. And uh, remember to use your low beam headlights when driving through fog. Please don't drive fast in fog either. Leave plenty of space between you and the car in front of you. Uh, do not tailgate anybody. Temperature is right now 54 degrees in Longview with a dew point of 53. And when you have the air temperature close to the dew point temperature, uh, that means that the air is pretty saturated and that uh, leads to cloud development. That's what happens in the upper levels of the atmosphere when we see their typical clouds develop. And when that happens at the surface, we get fog. And you can see that moving through Longview right now. And there is fog across many of us. Uh, so dense fog advisories just issued from the National Weather Service now as well. Temperatures in the middle 50s across the Arc Latex region, some 60s off to our west along I-35, 60 in Dallas-Fort Worth, Waco, Austin, and San Antonio. So right down the I-35 corridor, all 60s on the board. For this afternoon, high temperatures will climb into the upper 70s. Maybe one or two spots reach 80 degrees, depending on how much sunshine you see. But we're likely to just stay in the upper 70s today with a southeast wind around 10 miles per hour. We are going to get a cold front moving in late Friday into Saturday. That will bring a risk of strong to severe thunderstorms, a slight risk in effect for a large portion of our area in the yellow, which is the level 2 out of 5 risk, which means a few strong to severe thunderstorms will be possible. Uh, but widespread uh, severe weather outbreak is not expected for us. Let's take a look at what Futurecast has. We are going to see uh, some clouds Friday, maybe a few showers in the morning, but then in the afternoon and evening after about 4 or 5 o'clock, we'll see the rain chances really increase as a line of storms is expected to push through the area. Even by 2 o'clock in the morning Saturday, we could still be tracking those showers and storms as they move across. And then we'll dry things out heading into Saturday. Clouds will also decrease as well as we head throughout your day on Saturday. So it's a wet start to Saturday, but I think by around 9 o'clock, we should be dry entirely in the morning on our Saturday. So make sure to stay weather aware. All modes of severe weather look possible late Friday into Saturday. The main threat being straight line wind gusts up to 60 to 70 miles per hour. And then a tornado or two also cannot be ruled out. So make sure to keep up to date with the latest forecast. We'll warm back into the upper 70s by the start of next week. And then for deep east Texas, it is more of the same. Tracking that cold front closely late Friday and into Saturday.